sometimes I wonder what is so fascinating about many things. I mean, many things that fascinate people. I really wonder what's fascinating. I'm just walking in the streets right now. And okay, there are lights everywhere and people everywhere and bunch of luxury looking food everywhere. I'm even seeing those insects that Harold Balder tried and Indian food and colors. But what's so fascinating about these things? I mean, even some kids will not budge or be fascinated by these things. Again, back to a very important quote of mine, when you see many things, many things become ordinary. Really, what is so fascinating? And about cute girls, what is so fascinating there, really? When you look at it critically, there's nothing there. <laughs> Yet, I mean, it's the same thing that captures entire nations and populations. I think I'm going to try this Indian stuff. Roti, I've been looking for food everywhere. I don't know what to eat. I mean, soups everywhere. and People are looking like they're catching a fancy, but really, what is so fascinating? I tried it and there's nothing there. Empty soup. Pretty emotionless soup. No storyline. No depth. And it fascinates people. I mean, nations are captured by this thing. The world is a business overall. You know, gimmick is so driven. Humans are made to lose value and pursue gimmick instead. Pursue things of the outer space and neglect things of the down to earth. That's the situation with the world. So that some elites hold the spaces and then every human is a client, the world, a giant business. Let me try this roti with you and see what's up. I think Indian food has more depth. Uh, I've tried some Indian food in the past. So, we'll go for this one as the alternative for today. I'm seeing something like roti with egg. I'm going to be trying that. Your boy Terry, stay awesome.